Now, some of you may have started a YouTube channel years ago, and it's time for you to change the name. That's what we talk about today. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. Now if you're new around here and you're looking to start your YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, click subscribe, start creating. Now a question I've had a fair bit recently is I started my YouTube channel three, four years ago and I was young and I was stupid and I named it something weird. How do I change the username itself? Bear in mind that the channel URL and the username are two completely different things. There's a video up here for that. I'm going to deep dive into how you can change the username and what it says underneath your video today. Now, before I start that, I want to know, have you renamed your channel? Would you like to rename your channel? Or what is the reason your channel is named the way it is? Mine, for example, is Alan Spicer, because that's me, and it's YouTube Tricks and Tips next to my name because I do YouTube Tricks and Tips. The Mr. Harry Brit channel is because I am a Mr. I am Harry, and I am British. But let me know what you are please leave a comment down below. Now over time, you may have started a YouTube channel and you, you, you threw up there whatever username that came up or whatever email address that you happen to go with it. For example, if you're Boogie2988, I believe that was pretty much, he threw it up there and that, that was his MSM handle at the time. Philip DeFranco used SXE Field because back then he was straight edge and he was Philip, right? Amy Smithauer, Amy Lindo, started with super savvy, sexy social thing. That's because that was her brand and that's how she was pushing her brand. She recently changed her name because she got married and she's rebranding her channel. So if she changed her channel name to make it look more professional or keeping in brand, it's something that we should learn how to do. Now it's quite simple. First of all, you sign into your YouTube account. Most of us are already signed into our YouTube accounts. I know that I'm pretty much always on YouTube. So that's not a problem. That's quite an easy step. Then in the top right hand corner where your little avatar happens to be, right, click on that and it drops down and you'll be able to see the settings or the creator studio and then settings. Now this pulls up this page, which is your avatar and your advanced settings. You'll notice there is a little one, a little link that says edit in Google. Now because of the way that Google Plus was integrated into YouTube ages ago, you effectively associated a YouTube channel with a Google Plus account, and that's why you can effectively directly share your videos straight to Google Plus or to Google, right? So it's kind of an old remnant, but the name of your Google Plus account or your Google Plus profile is the name of that YouTube channel. Now, once again, not to confuse you, this is the name that appears underneath your videos that links to your channel. It is not your channel URL. If you're changing your channel URL or if you're starting your own custom channel URL, have a look at the video here. If you just want to change the name, then change the name to whatever you wish in that little text box. Now, warning, it is not instant. It does take a little while. In fact, in some cases, it, it took around about two days to like show up on not only the site, but show up on things like Social Blade and Vidstats X and stuff like that. You can also change your avatar, the little picture that's in that corner as well, through the same process. Now, what's the advantage of changing your name? Well, you can update a brand, you can put little comments next to your name, or if you're promoting a certain thing, maybe you can, you know, next to it, revamp or going live every Monday, or the Philip DeFranco show used to have the Philip DeFranco show every Monday, Friday, Wednesday, blah. I personally, when starting this channel, deliberately had Alan Spicer dash YouTube tricks and tips next to it. So when you found me in a comment section, you knew that I am Alan Spicer, which as a new YouTuber, you don't care, but you know that I do YouTube tricks and tips. It worked really well for the Mr. Harry Brit brand when it was Mr. Harry Brit dash not safe for work, news, funny, food, that kind of thing. Since then, I've removed those hashtags alongside Mr. Harry Brit because people got used to who I was and my brand. And once again, more importantly, even, no matter how long that username happens to be, it doesn't become your channel URL. So Mr. Harry Brit was youtube.com forward slash Mr. Harry Brit, and then that was it. And on this one, it's forward slash Alan Spicer, not dash YouTube tricks and tips afterwards. So it, it still keeps it clean and it still keeps it relevant and branded. So that's how you can change your username, your channel name on YouTube. For more tricks and tips, there's a free PDF up here in the description down below. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more tricks and tips videos fired at you two times a week. Plus hit that notification icon so you can see my live streams. Go out there, start creating.